welcome to the celebration of Holy Communion by Bishop Cal Lippett at the Catacomb Chapel of St. Uriel of the Universal Episcopal Church. Wherever you are, especially if circumstances prevent you from receiving the sacrament physically, you are welcome to spiritually receive the sacrament here with us. Church Back Home is a presentation of the Universal Episcopal Church and the Wise Ones Net. Universal Episcopal Church is an independent religious body. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and minds in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, who never failest to help and govern those whom thou dost bring up in thy steady, steadfast fear and love, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle is written in the first letter of St. John, in the third chapter, beginning with the thirteenth verse. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And yet we know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath his world, this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us 
not love the wor in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time, to say that them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go see it. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house became, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, to, said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that in my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten of, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified who spake by the prophets, and I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. If you remember last week's Episcopal, and you look at this week's Epistle, you'll notice something. I remember in college, and even more so in graduate school, but 
even in high school, one thing applied. If the instructor was kept repeating themselves, if that professor kept repeating himself and making the same point again and again, especially in more than one lecture, you're going to see it again. You're probably going to see it again twice. Once at least on an examination and then again in real life. And so, yeah, and here in the epistle we have a continuation. We have a continuation of last week's biggie. And we have an illustration of it happening in the gospel. Giving a feast by a nobleman or a wealthy man was not just inviting friends for dinner. It meant quite a lot in many ways, and some great things could come from it. Now, here we have somebody who invites all the people from the A list. And all the A-list people have excuses. And if you understand your history of the period, it looks to me like they would be considered legitimate excuses. However, one thing must be said. There probably was announcement going out earlier that on a particular date, this feast was going to be held, this great supper. So yeah, maybe a legitimate excuse, but they knew that this supper was coming and instead they buy land, they buy oxen, they get married. At such a time as to make this inconvenient? No, I've dealt enough with those kind of people which is one of the reasons why I'm, some people say I'm sarcastic. So what does he do? He tells his servant, go into town and get everybody from the B, C, and D list. If the A-listers won't come, let these other people enjoy it. And when there's not enough room, or I should say when there's still plenty of room left, he says, go out in the highways and bring everybody you find there. And they'll enjoy the feast. They'll enjoy the supper. And we'll just forget these so-called A-listers all so impressed with themselves. So yeah, he basically, the so-called worthy, or should we say the self-described worthy, not only didn't get to be in the feast, sounds like they're not going to be in any other feast either. But these other people, They've got something to look forward to. And so, if you read the newspaper or watch the TV news, you might get an idea of where this might apply. And so won't it be. God is not unrighteous that he will forget your works and labor that proceedeth of love which love he hath showed for his name's sake we have ministered unto the saints and yet do minister
Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace. And especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity especially Jared, Jesse, Thera, Deborah, J.A., John, Cassandra, Ken, Judy, Hope, Katrina, Louis, Natalie, Rebecca, Priest, Mark, Bishop, Moon, and Munir, Bishop. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service and to give us grace, so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. We ask this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake. Our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in His holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Maker of all things, Judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen.
hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet right so to do. It is very meet right in our bond and duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, We laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. Glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee. The memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy whole words and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee, grant it by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood. We and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. 
And here we offer unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. How many beseech you need to, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee. And feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul and everlasting life. Break this in remembrance of Christ, and I will shed for thee, and be thankful. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul and everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee. And feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee. 
and we thank you. So of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesu, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Separated from thee, let me never be. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee. Forever and ever. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you within my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us. We have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And dost assure us thereby Thy favor and goodness towards us. And that we are very members in corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. and are also heirs to hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest to the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.
Thank you. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.